Hey folks, Flip here, and today we're playing Hardcore Minecraft. I'm going to be taking you all through the journey of building my entire Hardcore Minecraft castle base. If you enjoy the series and want to support me, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're brand new. Today, my friends, is day 930 inside of my Hardcore Minecraft world. My goal that I'm setting my, for myself here to make things a little bit spicier is to finish this entire castle by day one thousand so we've got 70 days to do that in the last episode we built the castle dungeons and i trapped a bunch of horrifying mobs inside of here and well even with tiny's huge butt over here we still have two open cells and i asked you all in the comments to let me know what we need to fill them with and well the top two comments to fill those two cells are a hoglin which in the overworld is a zoglin and also a ravager so I think what we're going to be doing here, my friends, is let's build the castle before we die trying to do that. Sounds like a great plan. To fully understand this castle project, we got to take a trip back through time to March 4th, 2021. We started with a simple hill covered in a bunch of oak and birch trees, and I knew instantly this was a great place to start building our castle. So moving forward with creating an insane castle gatehouse over here that I just really wanted to nail down the style for this entire project and flying forward on that, I want to have a big staple piece. So I wanted to make a huge bell tower that is actually now the AFK point for a creeper farm that we're hiding down in the castle dungeons that I absolutely love. And of course I had to connect these two buildings up because otherwise it looked a little weird. Now at this point, the hill was a little too small for where this project was going. I kept going bigger and bigger and more grand with these builds and just slowly uh, consuming a lot more resources in the process, but I absolutely love this thing. It has been an absolute blast to build it. You can see here that we went through many, many days purely just placing blocks down on this castle turning it into what we have here between everything else going on in this hardcore minecraft world we've been able to accomplish so much on this castle just from different structures to the mess hall right here that i ended up being like nah this isn't enough it looks amazing but it's not big enough so let's start the terraforming project and really see what we're working with over here and i want to make it look like we had sea cliffs with a seashore kind of coming through the base with a bunch of seashells down at the seashore and all of that great stuff here we brought in the sand and everything and it's looking so fantastic and then i need a place to rule from so we brought in this amazing grand hall where we have the throne room and it's looking so dang good and we have our two dogs sitting in there coda and nova ruling alongside with us and then of course we needed to feed the people so moving forward with creating a kitchen and an entire dining area and everything else that we could possibly need trying to keep the idea of this being defensible in the entire place as well and finally for defense we needed soldiers so it's time to build up the castle barracks to have all of our soldiers have a place to live now that we're all caught up here on the castle project my friends we have to tackle something extremely important here in the hardcore world or there could be dire consequences planting a new field inside of our kingdom it's wheat field time And there we have it, 31 fields for 31 episodes inside the hardcore world. Moving forwards, I want to work on the castle build. So coming into my mess of a storage room over here, we only have a certain number of days. So we got to get working on that thing. And I've noticed that my die chest is rather empty. We need a lot more light blue so we can make a bunch of light blue stained glass for the lovely castle right over there. Now that's going to lead us into our next project here, my friends, is we're going to be building up a tiny little dye farm for ourselves. Going to be needing a bunch of observers, a dispenser, a few note blocks right over here, a bunch of redstone dust, and bone meal uh, that'll be a problem we'll get later now the last element we're gonna be needing here is 18 pistons which thankfully we can craft now for the important question where the heck is a swamp biome nearby us i cannot remember i think it's off in this way there's a flower forest though so we can make a big old dye farm here in the future that'd be amazing but right now we're after light blue dye oh my gosh yes there it is we have a swamp biome oh this is gonna be amazing Clearing out a few trees as we don't need too much space for this thing. Let's flatten the area a bit to make it look a little bit nicer. 
Then we put nine of these guys on this side, and then nine of them back on this side. I believe we throw some note blocks right over here. Dispenser's taking a look at the note blocks. Some redstone lines to fire the old pistons, and we should be almost done. Now for the fun part is right here in the center, we need a dispenser right there. Probably smart to be able to access this thing. First, we're gonna need an observer looking right at the grass blocks at the top, and then an observer observing the observer, which will then observe the observer, observing that and sending a signal to the dispenser from observing the observer. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Tossing some bones right over in here, and this should work. No, the chicken broke it. Still no. I think we gotta remove these guys. <gasps> that works, and go. No, it's working, we just gotta manually hit these guys. Okay, progress. Well, it's pretty manual, but it has worked out well so far. Two stacks of light blue dye for ourselves. Amazing. I'm wasting far too many days on this right now trying to get this thing working, but I hope, I hope this will do it right here. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now, how do I stop it? I haven't gotten that far yet. And a redstone torch. Nice. This is gonna give a lot of seeds moving forwards and a lot of light brew dye for us, which is gonna be amazing. We've got a solution for the bone problem here, my friends, is our half-functioning wither skeleton farm here in the nether. Where hopefully amongst all these stone swords, we should have some bones, amazing. Oh, so many bones, look at that. All this time spent flying back and forth is really starting to rack up the days over here, my friends, as we are now on day 942. We spent almost 13 days trying to build a wheat field and now a dye farm. Holy cow, what is going on? But this thing's now fully loaded. Oh my gosh, it's so loud, but it's so amazing. I love this. Okay, that's enough though. That's, that's enough. For full transparency, this is modified designed by Shulkercraft. Think how many wheat fields I can plant with this. <gasps> Amazing. Finally back home, light blue dye in hand. It is time for me to get a bunch of resources together here for the next section of the castle build. After rummaging through my chest, I realized I was missing quite a few blocks here. So running over to the dark oak forest to chop a bunch of trees until the night came in. And in order to prolong the day counter that we are fighting against here, I went over to the mines and started diggy digging my butt off until the sun came up and making a quick Quick pit stop over at Mooshland to pick up a bunch of lecterns because books are a pain in the butt to craft. But now, my friends, I believe we have everything we need to get the next section of the castle rocking right over here. I've also built out a little well because a lot of people were saying that we needed some sort of a water source inside the castle so people could drink from it. And I absolutely love this little thing right here. But my friends, it is time to kick this off in a good old fashioned time lapse mode. Well, this whole thing took a heck of a lot of time to get done over here, my friends. We are up to day 956 now. So we are almost halfway through the amount of time we have. And I was running out of resource here while we heading through this thing here. So we still have a whole nother building to make and an entire section of the road to bring ourselves down to this corner where eventually there's gonna be a bridge leading out to the other island. That we're not even tackling today. But I was able to get the entrance down into the dungeon figured out, so we actually have a walkway now instead of just walking over some dirt underneath the landscape that we've created in here, and it's looking really, really cool. Then I had an idea right over here just to make this section, aw, oh, man. At least a little bit more interesting, I guess, is we can bring up a few birch fences right around here with some smaller plants hanging off of them and then throw some acacia leaves around these so it's a little bit of a tree hanging out in here. I think that could be super fun. Just having something small and nice to look at on the corner. Might not make too much sense that they're growing over the banners and everything like that, but could also be kind of fun. And then to fill in the space on the rest of the puzzle, let's throw some of these lovely little dudes down here. Now for the next section of the project, cause I'm all out of resources and I don't know if I wanna spend the time getting them gathered up to finish this section over here where we have all of these shulker boxes and I have no idea what is inside of them. Oh, that's a lot of sand. And wait, oh, all the deep slate in there. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good, my friends. 
I think for the best usage of our time here is we got to move on to the terraforming front to make sure we can get all of that stuff done because we've got a lot of digging to do here. And where is my beacon? Perfect. That's going to be a lifesaver. We have this entire section of the landscape down here that needs to be finished moving all the way around the castle. We've got to hollow out the landscape and build up the cliffs around it and get everything looking super duper nice here. If we take some rough ideas around here, maybe we'll have the land coming over this way. Give me an easy spot to connect in right over here. We open it up a little bit further around this side and we bring ourselves down to the ocean. Maybe expanding the bay a little bit over here and hopefully we have a bit of a plan. It's a bit of one. We'll see how this works out. Now for the next step, everything inside this cobblestone dashed line that we've created needs to be torn down to water level. Oh, we've got a big dig. Hopefully I can set up the beacon right here and hit everything. That would be very nice. Well, there's only one way to find out at this point, my friends. It is time for us to uh, please take an iron ingot. Thank you very much. Completely out of food here, but no time to waste, my friends. Let's get digging. The sun is setting down on another day here, my friends, but look at this over here. Oh, we've done it. It's looking fantastic. This entire area is cleaned out. Maybe these little extra edges around here. We still need to get completely destroyed this pickaxe over here, but the whippy silk touch picky is still rocking and still going strong, my friends. The beacon uh, almost covered everything, almost covered everything, but this is looking so good. We've got so much space down here that we now need to fill with everything. Not really sure what I want to be doing in here quite yet, except we got to turn the whole base into sand and we got to get those cliffs that we've been using all the way around here going all the way along over there on this entire front edge too around the new building that we built today because otherwise it'd be weird if this is floating on the seaside of the of the castle oh my god oh wow okay um i'm really glad we have two pieces of blast protection that was almost game over on that note I think I'm just gonna focus on getting the sand in. We're just, we're just gonna get the sand in and kill that creeper. Nope, he disappeared. Even better. Sand has been placed in and already this is looking so much better. However, we still have a lot of work to do. As you can see, the cliffs are uh, not looking quite as good as they are on this side. And even the ground is not looking quite as good. But first, we have something of the utmost importance to be talking about. It is my birthday, IRL. Woo! And to celebrate my birthday, I wanted to create my first Minecraft birthday cake. Because, well, I can. We don't want this lame cake that's been sitting here the entire time. We need our own brand new cake right over here with our first ever candle on top. This was added in the Minecraft 1.17 update and I specifically never made one to wait for this very day because now I am 27 years old and I've been officially playing Minecraft for well over 10 years. And I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on back to the project. Uh, I gotta repair my tools, so uh, let's get to work. Nearly 1,000 days into this world and I still don't have a proper experience farm. I'm hoping the Wither Skeleton Farm will be able to help us out here today. It is not fully functional, but I think it's gonna function enough and probably be our quickest way to repair this tool right here because we need it. Otherwise, there is no way we can finish today's project. There we go. That is exactly what I wanna be seeing. Now, I know this thing hasn't been featured inside of a video yet, but holy cow, it is working like an absolute charm today. And there we have it. Pretty much the last tool is all the way done. Nah, I'll finish it off. I finish it off. But look at this down here. 16 skulls in that one and nope, just 16. Well, you know, I can't complain about that. I'll tell you all what here, folks. It's my birthday, and I don't want to be just chilling here, breaking blocks all alone. So I'm going to go ahead and live stream over on Twitch here for a while. If you want to find links to that, you can find it down in the description. But let's go ahead and kick this off into good old-fashioned time-lapse mode as we're being a trench runner over here. And hopefully, we'll actually finish this whole thing before we run out of too much time in the video. I'm 
I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh my gosh, I'm panicking right now. That took absolutely forever to do, and all we accomplished in the whole time lapse right there, which by the way looks amazing, is the inside. We haven't even started touching the outside or even detailing the bottom of the trench. It's just creeper territory right now. Oh no, not the big, oh, it's an even a bigger one. Oh gosh, get through the chicken. As much as I hate staying up during the night right now, my friends, we might have to stop sleeping because that's gonna double the amount of time that we have to complete all of these projects. And nope, 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 not the baby, not the baby. He's holding, he's holding an egg, he's holding an egg. If I don't look at the zombies, they can't see me. Oh, nope, nope, they can see me, they can see me, oh God. I'll tell y'all what folks, with the zombies burning in the background, it's time for a little bit of a shader's glimpse of what this thing looks like. I need some eye candy in my life right now. For the cliffs right now, we're going very, very heavy on the deep slide over here. And uh, well, unfortunately, we've pretty much run out. We've run out of almost everything. So there is no way right now that I think I can even get the outside of this done. We've tackled off a lot more than I think we can handle here with doing the entire outside terraforming. So that's going to be something that I think I might be saving until the very, very end. And whatever free time I do have, we go ahead and tackle that. But moving right back up into this area, we've got a lot that we need to figure out in here. The way that we can close the castle off, I'm thinking we do like a little bit of like a gatehouse action in there and bringing everything right through around here. But that means I got to spend a little bit more time resource gathering to see if we can actually get that thing built up. We're running pretty low on brick right here, unfortunately, so I might have to run over to Mooshland to get that, but we got a lot of terracotta still. We got a little bit of granite, so that'll be able to help us out. Get, definitely going to be needing a bunch of jungle planks. I'm working towards getting all of the items together, and at this point, I need a little bit more deep slide. I'm thinking to build up the wall, because I want to use some of the wall blocks themselves, because it looks really, really cool. So I've got everything in here ready to go, though. This is going to be a huge build, just throwing a lot of things all over the place again. All right, this right here should be everything, except I've run out of warped wood, meaning that we got to run into the nether here. Thankfully, we do have a warp forest pretty close by, but I think I've chopped almost all of it down. So we might have to go find a different one because I need a fairly hefty amount. Here it is, and I'm not seeing too many stems remaining. <laughs> oh, I got to start replanting these. Oh, it's a big boy. Perfect. This should be all we need. Just kidding. Just kidding. It goes nowhere. It goes absolutely nowhere. We got over a stack though, so that should hopefully be able to do it for us here. I did, however, just notice this is a bastion right over here, hidden behind the nether hillside. And there's a chest right down there. Kinda want it. I'm gonna see if there's any other chest right up here first. Could you imagine how great of a distraction this would be if we find pig step right now while we are flying through trying to just get everything done before day 1000? Come on, it'd be a pretty big win right there. There it is, there's the chest. Oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. There's the army of piglets. Okay, okay, Mission Impossible, go. They should not be able to get me right here, and let's see what's inside. Netherite scraps, ancient debris, iron, gilded blackstone, obsidian, magma cream. Oh, it's amazing. This is a good find, good find. And we got our advancement for the day. Now for this one, before they notice me, block of gold, I'll take it, I'll take it. Now it is time to get the heck out of here. No pig step, but that's a-okay. <gasps> Cast. Mine. Crimson Forest right here, though. We will be back. We will be back because we need the Zoglin. I've completed the walkway going around this entire area, so we can actually walk around the entire castle now, which is absolutely amazing. Still got to get some Antisite in over here. And then on top of that, I decided that instead of building the bridge today, we just need to fill in this section. Same way we did underneath the main bridge right over there to get into the front gate. We need to have that leading going towards us like a support section leading into the next section of the castle, which, you know, not doing that today. There's no way I could build this entire island here and now, um... With the sun going down, 20 more Minecraft days. With just over three hours left for myself to work on this video here, my friends, it is time once more to kick this off into good old fashioned time lapse mode and finish the castle? Okay. Making a lot of excellent progress around here. Now this whole structure is finished up and it is looking magical, if I do say so myself. That brings our castle to connect, going all the way around on the outer wall, which is so absolutely amazing. But that does leave us with one more section down here, the landscaping from there 
two down here, which desperately needs to be finished because right now this looks a little awkward. A little awkward. What is also awkward here is that means I need a lot more deep slate because that's all I got left. We've got three blocks for ourselves and maybe a handful more in there, but it's back over to the mines we go and wow, I just almost died. I didn't even notice that. Huh, the clock is ticking as we have just 18 days left before day 1000 and I don't even see any deep slate around here. I need to get regular deep slate and the cobbled stuff. So we've got a lot of digging to do. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I mining the ceiling out? I don't have time for that. We're not here for the aesthetics of our gross beacon mine. What am I doing? I just wasted how much time gathering up almost a full inventory? Oh my gosh. There, right over there. Oh my gosh, we could have seen this in the entire time. Oh, we're saved, we're saved, we're saved, we're saved. These blocks take so dang long to break. Oh my gosh, we've finally done it. This section's cleared. This should hopefully be enough deep slate to get us through this build today. Oh my gosh, you just came off the... <laughs> it's an assassin! Trying to thwart the plants! <laughs> just got assassinated in our hardcore world. On that note, it's time to make a bunch of progress down here on the cliff face. I think I'm just gonna do the same pattern that we've done so far. Just keeping a few test points for ourselves so I can kinda know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good. Okay, we'll bring it like swooping down there. This will come up that way. We can do another little thing up there and it's gonna be great. I believe I've started speaking gibberish at this point in time. Things are really going south. Regardless of that, the first line is in place and it's looking pretty good for a default one. And now this side's gonna be a little rough as we ended it down there. And this guy's all the way up here. Oh, that's gonna be a sharp angle. I believe I've come up with a bit of a solution for this, however, as we can have the multiple layers. We've done that a few other points, so we can have this cliff face actually coming in right back harshly into there. And then we'll have a lower one that just kind of connects in front of it a bit. I think that'll actually be really nice. The small front section's now in place down here and it's looking pretty solid. And then all we gotta do is bring the deep slate right back along here. One last time. And there we have it. The final steps are now complete. And if I just get some cobblestone slabs in here, everything underground is now sealed in. Amazing. It's done. That's it. That's everything that we need for the castle project on the main island itself. The outside cliff faces. Definitely still got work to do on those guys right over here, but we've got just under 17 days left with that moon coming up here. So we really got to start pushing forwards and I think we got to get it done before I start to scramble and really mess it up. And that is we need to fill the last two cells down inside of the dungeon. We've got this one right over here, the creepers right in there, and this one's open right in here. Not a whole lot of space, but it's something. It's something, that's for sure. We've got two name tags left over here. We've got Bub and we've got Gerald. The Hoglin, which when we bring it into the overworld, it's going to die and zombify and become a Zoglin. And according to the Minecraft wiki over here, those are hostile towards everything. So we're gonna have to be extremely careful of that dude. And the Ravagers, well, we know those. We know those pretty well at this point in time. We've gotta spawn a raid in order to get one of those guys inside of the world. So my thought here coming into the end dimension now is we can use obsidian, nether portals to move these mobs around as easy as possible, especially that Hoglin. He's gotta come out of the nether at some point, so maybe we just drop him out of the nether right into his cell. I think that sounds like a good way to go. We've done it, one stack of obsidian. Oh my gosh, my finger was starting to hurt holding that down there. Let's get out of here. Thankfully for the Hoglin, we can do most of this while we are under the cover of darkness, so we can save a lot of time in here. But as soon as we start working towards getting, ooh, this is gonna be very scary in here, isn't it? You know, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna light this up here real fast. That is very dark over there. But before we get super crazy here and start a raid, let's get this little Zoglin dude in here. And I think if we do the nether portal through there, close off this entrance, name tag him before he comes through. He should just chill inside of here, I hope. I don't know if they die eventually in the overworld after they've been zombified, but we will, uh, we'll see. It's gonna be an adventure all around. Getting our return portal set up in the nether right now, and it's a little bit closer to our spawn than I typically like it being, but you know, all we have to do now is uh, get a Zoglin up here and just lure him through. Yeah, totally fine. We just need to get a Hoglin from the Crimson Forest right over there, up through this tunnel, while fending off gas. Oh, yep, 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 fending off gas, and not dying to skeletons. 
<gasps> there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, no. We got a piglin with us, too. Oh, I don't have a way around. Why did I jump over a gap? You can walk down there if you want to. Yeah, you want to walk down there? Oh, good boy. Look at you. Up this way. Up this way. We've got a hoglin in tow, and we are out. We are out of the crimson forest. Hopefully, he's able to climb up here with me, and the skeletons do not follow. All right, I'm just feeling pretty safe on this dude. Let's name tag him right there so he doesn't despawn on us. Which way do we go? That's the iron farm. So we want to go all the way down here. We're almost there, Bob. We're almost there. Come on, buddy. Look at those little toes and the flappy ears. Now we just need him. Come on. Oh, he doesn't like nether portals. No. <gasps> How do we do this? New plan. New plan. Okay. All right. All right. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hi. Yes. This way. This way. Right through here. Yes. Oh, he did it. He's through. Amazing. Oh, no. He definitely didn't come through here. I don't know where he went. That's not good at all. I guess there's only one way to find out. We got to go through this portal and see if it even links up. <gasps> oh! Okay, he came back through the portal. He came back through the portal. All right, I think I've had a much better idea here. If we send him through and then he has to drop down, I think that's going to lock him in place perfectly. Now we just have to get back into the nether without him killing us. There he is. Okay, there he is. There he is. Let's go. Oh, he still can't get out of there. Oh, I hate this. Okay, he's out. He's out. He's out. Bub's out. Go this way, Bub. Through the portal. Through the portal. Yes, he's through. He's through. Please, please work. Please work. Please work. Is he down there? No, where did he go this time? The sun is coming up, meaning we've lost an entire day trying to do this with Bub so far. There is a name tag, Zoglin, on the loose in my world right now. And I'm not feeling confident. This right here is definitely the bub. Definitely not a secondary bub, and there's a loose bub inside of our hardcore Minecraft world that I have absolutely no idea where he is. Yeah, there might be a name tag Zoglin somewhere around here. That's not this bub, but that's fine. Now that I know what I'm doing, this should hopefully be pretty easy over here, and we just need to get the Ravager inside this spot and fallen down into there. I think since the Ravager is pretty big, we're gonna give him at least a three wide portal in here and hopefully he just walks off that edge. But I think the best way we can do this is by heading up to the raid farm we built quite a few months ago now at this point and get that to spawn a raid for us. All right, here's the plan in the middle of this battlefield, my friends, is I've got this little minecart right over here and I think we literally just have like this dude going all the way around and then we fight until wave three of the raid. That's when Ravagers start spawning we'll be able to get one. Now back to my favorite pillager outpost in the entire world. I've killed all your friends, it's now time for you to go. Okay, now it's time for me to go. Here we are, the raid is a rocket and I should probably get some more firework rockets in case we need to fly away out of here. But let's do it, there they are. Oh no, the wandering traitor! <laughs> no, he just... <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Unlucky to be walking here. Oh, poor wandering traitor. <laughs> All right, that's wave two done. We should be seeing some Ravagers coming in here now. We gotta get up super fast so we can try and lure them away. Oh, if we lose the Ravager to the lava, I'm gonna be so sad. There they are, there's the Ravager. Oh, hi, buddy. Come on, over here. In the minecart, please. Oh, he just almost killed me in one shot. No, 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 Ravager, no, 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 no. Okay, we have another chance on the next phase. Can we knock him out? Can we knock him out? Nobody get punched out. And he's dead. Okay, problems, problems here. I believe this is wave six of the raid now. All right, where are they coming from? We're definitely gonna see some ravagers here and there's an evoker on top of the ravager. Come on, get in the minecart, get in the minecart. Pick him up, pick him up, please, please, please. It's in, it's in, it's in. Oh my God, we did it. We got the Ravager in, we got the Ravager in. Name tag him before he, something happens. Oh, he almost killed me. Okay, getting rid of everything else now. Gerald is home safe. My bow currently has 18 durability on it, but I think we've done it. By it, I mean we've done phase one of the plan over here. Get a Ravager in a minecart. Gerald, I'll be back for you, buddy. I was digging out the new nether tunnel to get him all the way back home and I found an ancient debris. I'll take that. Well, here goes nothing, my friends. We've got the Ravager right over here. He should be stopping, perfect. And the nether portal is all set up on that side. So if we get him to go inside the portal, then we meet him on the other side by coming back through. I built a tunnel that we should be used to get him all the way home. Now, as you can see, I have a few totems of undying on my hotbar here. 
Can I even get to his hitbox? I don't think I can. New plan. New plan. All right, we've got the new plan here, my friends. We've got a rail leading all the way over here to an activator rail that should make it so the Raptor gets booted out of the minecart. That took way too long to figure out, and I'm really not too even sure how it worked out, but we got Gerald back on train. I repeat, Gerald is out of the minecart. Gerald, 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 you're out of the minecart, buddy. Uh, please stay here. I need to go sleep. Gerald, don't do it. Gerald, Gerald, don't do it. I can't leave you alone in here. I can't. Uh, don't you fall in the water, Gerald. Gerald, don't you fall in the water over there. We've been through too much. Come on this way. Come come this way with me. In the portal. Please. Yes, he's in. Death is in the nether now. I'm worried that that was the easy part. Gerald's right there. <laughs> we got to take him all the way down here and around to that other portal we've created. I'm just going to hold the totem in both hands here. Oh my gosh, that is that is absolutely terrifying right there. That That's something I never want to see ever. You can do it. You, I believe in you. You can, you can do it. You're doing a great job. Great job. Fantastic. Oh no, he was, oh, he was, he tricked me. He tricked me. I thought he was stuck. He's dancing his way all the way to the dungeon. All we got to do is get him to come right through this portal and he should be in his brand new home. Yes, he's in, he's in, he's in. Now I'm desperately hoping this worked out this time. He's in! Gerald's in his cell! Oh, I'm so happy Oh, <laughs> we've done it! Oh, Gerald, you have no idea how happy I am to have you in here, buddy. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, we've got a raptor, we've got a creeper, and we've got a zoglin. And there's still a loose zoglin somewhere in our world. <laughs> I don't think we could have timed this any better here, my friends, because we are literally on day 999 right now. Look at that over on the left side of the screen. Nine levels to repair this bow. Yeah, I, I think we want to keep this guy around. It has served us well. Unfortunately, we weren't able to fully complete the challenge around here as we still have the outside face of this entire trench to dig out and decorate and everything like that and do a little bit of terraforming work on the outside, but that is something that we can tackle here very soon, my friends. As I can now say, my hardcore Minecraft 1.17 survival base is finished before day 1000, my friends. That sun is starting to set here behind us, but holy cow, I cannot believe what we've been able to accomplish on this one. This video took so absolutely many hours to be able to produce this and edit and everything like that. So if you did enjoy, please be sure to click that like button down below. If you want to see more like this, please be sure to subscribe as well. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.